Hey everyone, so this is uh, AKS Cricket. You can see the website bag that comes with a bat. It's a standard sort of Indian fare with mesh here, um, some padding, uh, but that's their website there. So you can get in contact with them if you're interested in a bat like this. Uh, what I do know about this bat is that it's definitely made in India and the owner of this company here, Anil, selling these pro grade bats uh, with a year's warranty, he said for $500. Now he's actually stamped these himself, doesn't look very good, I have to be honest. So what do I think about it? Well they've been kind enough to give me some information about who is the bat maker. This is sort of one of the smaller bat makers that's up in the cooler regions in the hillier area of India from what I understand and um, they've been kind enough to uh, give me information about the bat maker so it's a family owned business uh, father's passed it on to the son um, the father and is well regarded for the hand pressing oh, I'm open minded here so let's have a look at the grains We've got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. And can't really see, but they are Yeah, they're dead straight through the toe, even though it's got the plastic on. I don't want to take the plastic off, uh, but I have been told that I can bounce the ball on it, so we'll do a regular sort of review with the plastic on. Uh, eight grains, it's pretty much a Virat Kohli profile with a little bit of duck billing. So you've got that fuller shape all the way through, heading into a mild duckbill. So fairly common Indian shape, as you would have these days, that the players are using. So as far as stats go, I haven't done any measurements, so, so we're just going to do it with a ruler. So you've got just under 40 mil edges there, 38, 39 toe is just under the three centimeter mark 40 mil edge I don't have the uh, other thing it's all inside so you got roughly about a 60 plus millimeter spine um, as far as concave goes you've got maybe one or two millimeters been taken out so very minimal um, Fairly traditional sort of shape. Let's see the width. So width wise we're going on a hundred and six. So we've got a little bit of weight has been taken out by narrowing the bat. It's a standard short handle. It comes in at a weight of 10.8, so probably two ten and a half once we take the, the plastic wrap off. Uh, it's got a standard chevron grip, nothing special. Uh, three rubbers. I can't really tell much about the handle, uh, but off camera it has a fair bit of flex in the handle, uh, so it's pretty whippy. In my hands, yeah, probably feels two ten and a half. So it picks up its weight, and and I wouldn't expect it to pick up much better because it's just got that thin uh, grip at the top here maybe a little bit under, it's really hard to tell with the plastic on. Ping wise, let's tap it up and see what the bat maker has done. So we've got a soft toe, and it's really going there, it's actually quite a really, it's actually a nice press. So you can see there, it's going really well. JS writes Willow. I can tell you that because I've seen the photos with the bat maker and the guy from JS writes. So I know that's that's English Willow. Um, so yeah, it's a nice press. Uh, very, it's a softer press. So very much closer to what um, they apparently are using. Every bat maker is different, I've got to be honest with you. And depending on the quality of the willow, 
they may press a little bit more or a little bit less to try and enhance the ping um, and it's all dependent on the type of willow. This is not a low density cleft, this is pretty much a standard density cleft. It's a nice piece of willow, very straight grains through, don't let the all this knotting and that fool you. It's just the, uh, the shrink wrap that you can see there. It's probably, it's definitely a grade one piece of willow, nice and clean all the way through, a little bit of knotting there. As far as the stickers go, they need to be improved and I'd you know, you've heard my thoughts before on on stamping. It's either do a sticker or or don't do it at all. Um, I don't like the grey nickels ink, and in this case here, the the actual stamping is not lined up here. So per personally, I would probably uh, not go with or ask for it to be uh, arrive without any branding on it. Um, it's decent. As far as the press goes, it's going to go, there's no doubt about it. Um, it's under width, so if it was standard width, we'd probably be looking at a bat that's closer to maybe 211, rather than uh, more that sort of harrow width. Uh, and it's nice and full, and, the, and to be honest, this is the sort of thing that the, uh, some of the Indian bat makers will do, is they'll narrow the bat to retain the fullness or they just don't have the the um, measuring tools to sort of get that sort of gauging right. Uh, the handle itself is I would say it's a semi-oval it's not a round handle, it's a semi-oval uh, and it does have that flex in it but I'm you know it's covered by the um, AKS's warranty which they're going to cover it for all repairs uh, within the first 12 months I look, it looks to me like a bat that can make a lot of runs and we're going to bounce the ball on it and see how it goes so we'll start off as usual with an old four piece ball the owner has given me the uh, ability to tap up on this one so we're not going to do the ball mallet, we're actually going to bounce the ball on it and it's got that lovely soft performance in it. It's going really well. So definitely this has been pressed to perform straight away. It doesn't have that harder press that you find in other bat makers. And it pings actually pretty good. I'm going to put the jukes on it now and listen for the tone that you, you hear off the bat. So yeah, it pings actually pretty good. As far as uh, dents go, yeah, there are some definitely some seam marks that the Dukes has left. Um, but I was told I was had the ability to bounce that ball on it. So you definitely need to knock these in. Those edges are pretty sharp. Bow-wise, there is a bit of bow in there. And it wasn't actually too soft down here, so the, the actual bat maker has actually managed to press all the way down properly to this sort of region. You still need to prep that toe properly for the bottom six inches. Uh, but you know, it, it is actually a good press. Um, and I saw in some videos and some behind the scene footage of the, the, the old press that they used there, and these are definitely hand pressed. Uh, so there is some advantage to when the smaller manufacturers can prepare their own bats if they know what they're doing. And I would say because this is a family company, um, they've got a fair bit of experience in uh, making bats and probably a good reputation uh, in the local land. Which, whether or not it translates into uh, you being interested in buying their bats is a different question. So there you have it. AKS Cricket. Very coal, very Collie style profile with a bit, of, bit more duck bill. Uh, picks up pretty much its weight. It's not, it's not a really heavy pickup, but it picks up its weight. 
um, would benefit from a, a better quality grip, maybe a bit thicker. It does have the semi-oval handle. So thank you very much to AKS Cricket for sending this over and I'll be sending it back shortly. Thank you.